Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we have a, another account improvement video for... Akian? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he requested help for his arena. So he wanted help in AD and in AO. He has a Patreon and he supports my work. Suddenly he said that he wanted to reach C1 because this account is currently F3, that was his best score in Arena. So we're gonna try to make him a team that could get some defense wins and also um, clear some defenses really quickly with his box and rune quality. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, make it blue, and also consider subscribing because that really helps. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Hi guys, before we start the video, if you are interested in any of the account services you see in this video or my past videos, please go to the descriptions below and join my Discord channel. All the information you need is there. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me and my channel financially, please join my Patreon, which there is also a link in the descriptions below. By joining, there is a chance you can win a free account improvement in the content you want in Summoner's War, and also free to ask for help whenever you are stuck in the game. I try to be more of a direct help to my Patreons, so there is a high chance I will help you with your account. Just remember to be respectful to each other, and we can schedule a time that works. That is it, and let's continue with the video. I already looked at this account before this video, and he has two LDN fives, and his account is over 2,000 days. So you can see that his best score in arena was F3, his world arena was, was F2, and um, we're only going to focus on arena today. Maybe later, um, he could ask for some more help in RTA because he has a Patreon. So we're gonna look at it at a perspective for arena. So. Uh, in the water category, at least AO perspective, there is no Bastet. If we want to go with an attack by a booster, we'll have to use the Megan. And I think I will do that. And there are some good tanky tanky units for defense, but I don't know if I want to go with the tanky defense in this level. I think I will try to go for a fast defense if I can, so we'll try that. In the fire department, he does have the cocky. So we could definitely use him in AO and AD. So we'll We'll try that as well. He does not have Carnal, so again, um, not really great for a tanky defense. In the wind department, he has the Leo, which is great for AO. He also has a Triton, which is great for AD, the Savannah. And yeah, these are all great for AD. He does have the Illudia, so that's the other LDN5 that I didn't talk about. And I want to actually try using these in his AO, so we'll take a look at this guy when we make that. And then he has the debate. Uh, but in this part of the video, we'll be trying to make an AD. And because he does have the Samath here, he did pull it recently. I am going to ruin this guy up and make a fast defense. And that defense would be the, the Samath, the Triton, the Savannah, and finally the Cocky. So we'll try this very common defense that's flooded in g1 so let's start with the triton because that's going to move first and currently it has this kind of speed which is around 295 and that's really slow for a triton it's not even on will so i'm going to try and find the fastest build for him on will because without will he is pretty easily countered with leo this is triton sadly i wasn't able to make it faster uh 295 was his fastest swift will set thankfully we did get it on will this time but it is the fastest uh let me just give it this i think this is a legend rune so if he can he should try to reappraise this to get a better rune but for now we'll use it as is and his accuracy went down by like 30-40% but thankfully we had a good artifact that gives him 21% accuracy on skill 3. This was taken for a, from a Chukuru so please replace this artifact. But with this he's actually on will and I think it would be enough for him to at least stall up to C1. So we'll use him like this. Triton is done like this, nothing else. Looking at his runes quickly while making these changes, he definitely needs to farm more GB12, so I would advise that. 
And now let's move on to the next unit, which is Savannah. I am kind of scared of what we could do with these units because he is, his runes are a little lacking. And really, if the Triton gets the 35% pushback, I am not exactly sure how fast the Savannah will need to be to not get cut. But we will try our best to find the fastest build nonetheless but currently i do think it's a little slow and looking at the runes it looks like a lot of the runes are not grinded so we will try our best to get a better build on this savannah so this is savannah and this is the fastest that we could get her we sadly we couldn't get her on the 250 speed but she's currently 243 speed and again this is one of the faster builds um, her accuracy is a little low, but this artifact does give her 14 more percent, so around 20 to 30 percent accuracy. Uh, like I said, he needs to work on his GB12 runes, but also he needs to work on raid because a lot of these runes are not grinded. And if he does grind these runes, the efficiency of these runes will definitely go up much, much more than what it is currently now because. The numbers I'm seeing in the optimizer is around the 85, 86 percentage, even and then lower than that. I do think that he should work on his runes, but if he really wants to see some real, real improvement quickly, then raid should be his number one priority. But these two units are done, and then I'm gonna work on the cocky. So here we're gonna focus mostly on um, attack because we just we do want the cocky to hit really really hard the one downside of this defense is that if the triton derps it's most likely going to be a lot loss but we'll have to take that and just try to go for go for the wins okay so this is the cocky on 236 speed i did make some changes with the artifacts and because they were hp main and i wanted more damage so i changed them to attack main so you might think that his HP is a little low, but really, if you're in your def if he's in your defense or offense, you want him to do the most damage as he can. So, um, especially in defense, if he gets to move, you definitely want him to kill something before he gets killed. Those are the three units, and now we just have to work on the Samath. Sally, the Samath is not six starred and awakened, so we'll take into account that he he's going to get 15% more crit rate. So technically, he'll be at 30% before. Uh, any of the runes get on but let's give him a despair will build and realistically and in the, in the best way we want him to be faster than the cocky and right after this the savannah because you do want the reset to go in before you kill anybody right because if they bring in a samath if they bring in a perna if they bring any unit that has some kind of revive you would want the samath to use the uh, reset before the cocky kills so they can't do any of that but that would mean that we will have to make this math around two four, uh, between 236 speed and 243 speed, which is, and we also have to take an account of the base speed because we are going to use the 33 speed lead. He has to be really, really fast and smath base speed is pretty bad. So if we can't get the speed that we want, we'll just make him go last. But if we can, I will make him go in front of the cocky. Okay, so this is Samas. Sadly, we couldn't get him faster than we wanted him to be, but with the 15% crit rate buff, once he's awakened, he'll have 90% crit rate. His accuracy is a little low, so I do hope that the owner could get some kind of artifact to give him more accuracy on skill 2. The resetting skill, because currently I cannot give him artifacts uh, because he's not a 6 star. Uh, I did. I did power up all of these runes, but I do think that he still needs to work on his will sets and also the grinds, the BJ5, if he can. Because by doing that, he will see the most improvement. But that is it for this defense, and we are done. Technically, we can't see the full potential of this current defense because this is not ruined up. But the final, currently, the final result is this on the spare will on 217 speed this is technically 90 percent crit rate and once he gets the artifacts and once he's six starred and once he's fully leveled up his stats will be much much better than this currently please skill him up i think this unit should be a first priority especially if you want to progress in arena so that's that the triton moving first on swift will 295 speed sadly this is the fastest swift set that he has on swift will so we have to work with that a savannah on violent will 
gain some damage. She she does have some more artifacts. I mean, sorry, she does have more accuracy through her artifacts. So I know it's a little low, and even with the artifacts, it's a little low. But let's hope that she can land some defense breaks. And then finally, the Kagi on Violent Will uh, with two uh, two thirty six speed. So the speed order is Triton, Savannah, Kagi, and then just some math. Hope that this could get you some more wins in F three, and maybe it's enough for you to hold in C one. I'm gonna put this up for now. Uh, we're not. We're definitely not gonna see it working cor uh, correctly, or um, you're definitely not gonna see any wins. I think because this math is now six starred. Guys, this was it for his account improvement for his AD, and the next video will be for his A. Oh, and there are a couple that I already thought of, but seeing that he has a Samath, I do think I can make him a fast one and then a, and then a slow one. So hope you guys look forward to that. And again, if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button and make it blue. And also consider subscribing because that really helps me. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.